Dribbling is about using your body and your wits to outsmart and outmaneuver players that are your opponents. And what you want to do is you want to test as many different dribbling moves as you can. Now that's a little higher. Today we're just going to work on your basic movements with your inside of your foot, your outside of your foot, the sole of your foot, see the ball here, the sole here, and your toe. Also your heel can be used, and really any part of your body can be used to dribble the soccer ball. But today we're going to focus on actually just controlling the ball with this, with your entire foot, okay? Do you know the basics of dribbling? Do you? We believe every player should know the concept of the laser beam. Okay, so here's the concept. And you want players to have and to use their imaginations. Really activate those imaginations. So have every player visualize that there's a laser beam shooting out of the top of their soccer ball. Okay, so it's shooting out of their soccer ball constantly and shooting out energy. Okay, shooting out good energy. And what you want to do is you want to get your laser beam collector, which is where your two rib cage, where your rib cages come together, right here at your xiphoid process. And what you want to do is you want to get that xiphoid, which is your laser beam collector, get it over the top of the soccer ball. Okay, so now you're seeing your stance is a little more soccer specific to controlling the ball. All right, so here's where it's important to have your legs bent instead of straight if you have your laser beam collector over the ball and your legs are straight well you feel off balance but if you bend those knees and get your legs and your feet to the side of the soccer ball and get that laser beam collector right on the top then it's really easy to start controlling that ball so now you tell your players to go side to side and they want to stay over the top of the ball they want to collect that laser beam right in the center, you're going to go forward, right in the center of their chest. And then finally you say, okay, well what about us going with the outside of the foot? Yes, for a second there, your laser beam collector will be losing a little bit of that energy, but you want to make sure it's still on there. You want to make sure that your laser beam collector gets over it consistently fast. And it makes it fun for the players in any type of dribbling drill to always find themselves right above that ball and that's really what we want to be teaching is control the ball and being ready to react at any moment if that ball changes position to get yourself on top of it all right okay thanks coach okay How to measure attack dribble. Start by creating a straight line, 10 yard slash meter course using two cones. Have players do 10 continuous repetitions of advancing the ball forward. Make sure player passes line each time and record their time. Measure passive attack dribble or lateral movement by using same 10 yard slash meter course and having the player do 10 repetitions of dribbling the ball laterally, make sure player is facing one direction, then record time. Measure attack escape using same course. Players are measured on how fast they can dribble the ball forward with five repetitions and move the ball backwards with five repetitions. Soccer skills should be reviewed and tested every six months. Good luck. Take your organization to the next level with Soccer School software that works to reduce the time it takes to administer registration, league scheduling, the tracking of player knowledge milestones, and also the tracking of instructors' certifications. 
Times are getting faster, busier, and more complex. But with this rock-solid soccer school software package, you'll not only gain time and simplify your processes, but your organization will advance quicker because it's now compatible with global soccer reporting standards. Give it a try at SoccerSchool.me.